Hey everyone, Sharon here from Craft and Kimmy Stamps. One of the most frequent questions that I get is how do I make my bows? Um, it's really rather quite simple, so um, I'm here today to show you how I use um, a little tool called the Bow Easy. This is just a, um, a little plastic tool and it, uh, it's quite inexpensive. Um, probably about, I think, $6, somewhere around in there. Um, you, it's available in many different uh, online stores and craft stores. Um, if you uh, look at it, you can see that there's quite a few different size bows that you can make. So, as, for instance, this one right here, you can make this wide, or you can use the small one to make a teeny tiny bow. Um, same thing here, you can make one this wide, or you can use this small one right here. And, and make a, a, a really teeny tiny bow. And same here, you've got this size or you can create this size. The most popular size that I use on my cards for me is um, this size right here. So, and I also love using May Arts one and a half inch um, silk ribbon. It's got a beautiful body to it. It's soft, it doesn't add any weight for mailing. It scrunches down beautifully to be put in a um, envelope or or to wrap it in tissue paper, and then when you unwrap it, um, it bounces right back. It's 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 just gorgeous ribbon. Um, so anyway, what you do is you take the tail of your ribbon right here and you lay it across the bow easy, just like this, whatever size that you're going to make. Lay it across the um, the uh, tool like this and grab it with your thumb grab it with this hand right here then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap the ribbon around the posts now personally I always love to use uh, I always love making a double bow so I always you can stop right here but I always like the fullness of a double bow so I'll, and it doesn't take that much more ribbon so I go around one more time okay so there I've got it right there and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this up here and I'm going to pull this out and I'm going to cut my ribbon and you want some good sharp scissors so that you don't fray your ribbon and leave about a four inch tail so I'm going to cut it like right about there okay now here comes the kind of tricky part so what you want to do is you want to take this keep it tight so hold it tight and then you're going to scrunch it down just a little bit to where you can see the top of the hole right there at the top of your tool where you've got your ribbon, your post, where you got the ribbon wrapped around. Then you're going to take the cut in that you just cut and you're going to kind of scrunch it together because this is one and a half inch ribbon of course and I'm going to push it through that hole right there and I'm going to reach through and I'm going to grab it in the back and pull it through. Okay, so kind of straighten it out a little bit. Then I bring the bottom part around and up. And then I see how I stick my finger right in here. And then I'm going to take this tail around and through and grab it. Okay. Then all you do is turn it over. And this is the front of your bow right here. Make sure that it's going to be nice and neat. If you have to push your ribbon down a little bit, okay, and then just start pulling to where you get a nice neat bow. Okay, then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to cut my tails. So I'm going to fold it in half, take my sharp scissors, I'm going to cut it while it's still on the tool, and just do my little cut like that. And I'm going to bring this side up and do the same thing. And then just pull the ribbon or pull the bow right off of the tool. And there you've got a beautiful bow for your project. That's it. Thank you for turning in today. Tuning in today. Be sure to check out all the rest of the awesome videos over at Craft and Kimmy Stamps YouTube channel. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.